Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to animate color in Adobe Premiere Pro. What I mean by this is that we are going to be animating certain visual color correction and color grading over time to add a sort of a neat little effect. It's a good way to change the mood of a scene or to compensate for a lighting change that should be happening or anything like that. So let's just take a quick example look right here. So you see it starts off as this yellow plain shot, but over time, we're actually changing into this like Jason Bourne sort of shot. And I just throw over like um, a collapsing sort of uh, side the uh, black on the sides like the bars to make it a little bit more actiony um, I don't know a really good technique of doing this but in After Effects it's really easy and here it's a little bit more difficult but I just do it on there kind of just tie the effect together so as you can see it starts from this yellow and it goes on in this blue with like some some uh, punched blacks and really contrasty and stuff like that so let's get into how to do this it's actually really simple and all it comes down to is just using the animation preset. So if I bring this back into here with nothing on it, you'll see that's just a regular piece of footage moves left to right. Nothing really fancy going on here. Let's let's cut it right here and let's start at a new sort of place. And so what we can do is we can actually go down here and do effects. We can search Lumetri. Lumetri, and then it's going to bring up about a thousand different effects because it thinks that everything in the Lumetri presets is what you want. What we want is under video, color correction, and Lumetri, we want to drag and drop that on. And now we have Lumetri, and you can know you can do the basic color correction stuff. We can go in here, we can get creative, we can go to the curves, we can, you know, go into the reds and drop the reds down to give it sort of a blue tint, and, you know, mess around with things and get a look that we want. And that's a good way to color grade your footage so that it has a neat sort of vibe to it. But what we want to do instead is we want to animate this over time. And that's where looking for stopwatches comes into effect. You can see that there are stopwatches all over the place in this effect, which means we can edit things over time. So we can manipulate basically everything except curves over time and um, basically just kind of have this go from one sort of color scheme to the next sort of color scheme. So let's control Z this back to where we began. And so this is where we start with this sort of coloring. And now we can go in here and we can do something like, so it starts with the basic and what we wanna do is let's go into basic correction and we can go, let's make the contrast, the highlights, shadows. Let's make all three of these um, stopwatched. So then we can move ahead maybe like, I don't know, one second. Uh, let's actually go two seconds. We'll go about two seconds, then we can move things. So we can go, we want the contrast to really shoot up. We don't want the highlights to be as intense. We want to drop those highlights down. We want to really bring down those uh, shadows as well to get that sort of really crunched look to it. And now over time, we can see that these effects start to take place. And so we've started to animate the color in this and we're getting like a cool changing effect happening here where it's bright and then it comes down. And then we can do the same with color. So we can go in here, we can drop this down and maybe move into something like color wheels. And so we can animate the color wheels here. And then we can go, um, you can see that I go back to the beginning of the footage, I click the stopwatch, it creates this. And we're gonna go to two seconds, which is where we had our other one stop as well. Right at two seconds. And then what we can do is we can, I don't know, maybe send the shadows to blue, or let's go slightly blue, and then the highlights to like green, mid-tones, Purple, sure. Get an interesting sort of look going here. But you can see that it changes to this over time and it creates a really, really neat sort of um, effect to it. And you know, you can make this go really fast and make it like, like um, sort of a hue, sort of pumping scene where it keeps changing the colors around. Or you can just kind of add a little bit of interesting appeal to your footage by changing it over time. And this is actually a pretty neat final product. It's a little flat, but I really like how uh, the colors are sort of blending here with the the, the low lights being in the blues and then some purple and some green there, I think it looks pretty neat. And then so at the very end here, we can actually do something like, um, we can also animate the vignette here. So we can click on the, the button right here, go back up to the two, and then let's bring it down maybe. Yeah, we can do that. So we'll bring that in and then let's bring the midpoint in a little bit. Uh, let's bring that feather up and we don't wanna animate this, we just want the, the intensity to be coming in. So now what you can see, you also get this sort of, um, this feather coming in, not this feather, this vignette coming in to sort of focus your attention. So now it's like, it went from just a normal scene to almost like we can make this little shrine point right here really, really ominous. As it moves over to the shrine point, we're focusing the user's attention by um, adding a vignette. We're changing the colors and we're making it seem like this is the important thing and maybe this is the thing changing colors. So you know, you can use it in a very creative way to get some really neat effects from it. And you can do 
almost everything in the hair. Like there's almost, you can even go down into the, um, so if we drop these all, close these all again, we can even go into the HSL secondary right here, choose a color. So let's grab, um, let's grab the green in here. And let's take a look at what it's grabbing. Let's expand that a little more. And if you want to, I have a couple of tutorials on these if you want to go ahead and look through my tutorials and I'll, I'll link a couple of them in the descriptions below if you kind of want to learn how this works a little bit more. So we're going to grab all this stuff. And then we're going to hit the stopwatch button right here. And then over time, well, my bad, not right here. What we want to do is we have the selection. We don't want the selection to change over time. What we want to change is the refining of it. So we want to change the correction of it over time. So as it moves over here, maybe we want to turn this... Um, so you can see it's slightly moving here, so we can maybe turn it down to, to the red. Let's, let's bring it up to red and see if we can't get something out of that. You can see there's a slight change. There isn't a very noticeable change here, so we can actually try to expand the Luma a little bit more. And now you can see there's a little bit more of a noticeable change here. But so, but the cool thing is, is that now that sort of change is happening over time where it's sort of getting dark, uh, closer and closer to that red. And if you actually go into here with the animation set, you can actually kind of watch it move over time. You see how it's moving up? And so it's slowly changing the hue of it as it goes up and up and up. And that is really the basics of this, is just to may, you know remember that anything with a stopwatch allows you to animate. And that means you can animate colors as well in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, so yeah, you can add some really neat color effects. You can use you know, a practical way, like changing the light for some event happening, or you can do it in an artistic way or sort of a way to focus your attention somewhere. And before I end this tutorial, I just want to show you, because I did show you at the very beginning, the black videos. Um, like I said, this can be done a lot better in Premiere Pro, the black video part, but I don't want to, you know, just show you something and not show you how to do it. So all I did was I created a black, um, video here and then I go into project by going up to file new uh, file new and then down to black video you can also click the button right here to get to it then I drag it over the top then I click uh, make sure it's the right thing I click the opacity and I make it like that and then all I did was animate the expansion oh my bad that's not what I did um, then all I did was drag these up here like so and see that if you notice mine are a little bit tilted um, so yeah, just get them so they're sort of the same. And then all I click was the inverted button and then you animate the expansion over time. So you can see like, as it moves over, you lower this back down and these sort of come into where they were originally. After Effects allows this to be a lot easier and the lines can be straight and you know, a little bit better. But I just wanted to show you how I did that. So that's how I did this part of it. Anyway, that is the tutorial. If you got any questions or comments, those in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, I make a video every other day on a different Adobe related products. Just anything uh, that comes to my mind that I think, you know, want to have a tutorial. And if you want any tutorials, like I said, those in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, see ya.